hi everyone today's video is a very short and simple one but it's something that i get asked often i stay in an area which has a lot of rainfall and wooden furniture and artifacts get this white mildew and they need to be protected so i'm going to tell you how to do that what you're going to need is a bowl you're going to need this linseed oil and a rag a soft rag so the piece of furniture that I'm going to clean today is this beautiful jewellery box. This jewellery box belonged to my mother and it is handcrafted from Jammu and Kashmir. And it is over 50 years old. It's completely done by hand and it's a musical jewellery box. So you can hear Lara's theme from Dr. Shiva Avako playing in the background. And all this work has been done by hand but you can see the little white spots and it's just looking dusty and tired and old so I'm going to get busy with my linseed oil and the rag so the linseed oil has a very strong smell so once you do this it's advisable to leave it out somewhere to air so take small bit of oil and take small sections and First take the dust off which I did and then go section by section and gently massage the oil in and you can see the difference right away. So I am going to show you this section. Linseed oil does not remove marks and you should not want to remove marks. Something which is old you should just let it keep its character. I can get this whole thing painted, I can paint it myself, but it's just not going to be the same. So you can just see, this part has not been done and this part has been done, you can see the difference. I'm going to bring you in for a closer look once I finish this. Now I'm going in to do this bit here, you need to just go in deeper and it's okay if you want to use a toothbrush. I'm going to just use my finger and you can see how this is coming to life. My mom had painted this herself in green when she was young and it, the original color was this lovely golden color. So part of the green is there, part of the gold is there. I'm going to leave it exactly like this. And there's a key at the back which I'm going to wind again to keep listening to very beautiful Lara's theme. Things like this remind me of an age when life was simple, when everything was so beautiful. A simple thing like a jewelry box wasn't a plastic box. It was a thing of beauty. It was a thing that you cherished. So I remember my mother keeping her jewellery in this and every time she would open this she would smile because it reminded her of her childhood and it, the, the tune made her smile. So I will now bring you in to show you the completed piece because it's going to take me some time to complete this. So I'm bringing you in for a quick before and after. So this half has been done this is not done as yet so you can see the loving shine which has come through because of the oil that has been massaged in it has retained its character it has retained its beautiful antique quality but it is now not looking unkept and unloved for the hard to reach areas I'm using a stiff brush and I'm putting in the oil because there are a lot of curls and curves so the cloth may not reach so you can take a brush dip it in the linseed oil like that and brush it in so that will reach all the areas which you are not able to reach So this has been done, it's complete, it took me around a total of half an hour. 
this brush really helped in reaching these crevices you can see some of the paint has gone from here it's there darker here this is the beauty of an old piece it does not need to be perfect it's shining it's love this beautiful work here and then i'm going to open this inside also i have cleaned and you can see there are hooks here for hanging necklaces everything very well thought out this has been lined in velvet it's been cleaned but it's very old velvet so there's a lot of fading beautifully done and the drawers open there are three of them so i'm going to be using this more and more most definitely i hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you understand how to clean an old piece like this take care stay tuned for more